Welcome to Reagan and Friends, a podcast series hosted by the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute. Each month, we will share some behind the scenes moments and stories of President Reagan with some of his more famous friends. In this week's podcast, we present American actor William Holden, one of the biggest box office draws of the 1950s. Born William Franklin Beadle Jr., he became known professionally as Bill Holden once he hit Hollywood. He won an Oscar for Best Actor in the film Stalag 17 in 1953, and a Primetime Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Limited Series or Movie for the television film The Blue Knight in 1973. He also starred in some of Hollywood's most popular and critically acclaimed films, including Sunset Boulevard, Sabrina, the Bridge on the River Kwai, and The Wild Bunch. He was named one of the top 10 stars of the year six times between 1954 and 1961. But how did he meet Ronald Reagan? Well, that dates back to the 1940s, when both Ronald Reagan and William Holden served in the United States Army Air Force for the Motion Picture Unit during World War II. According to Bob Colicello's book, Ronnie and Nancy, Their Path to the White House, in July of 1943, Captain Ronald Reagan was promoted to the second highest position at Fort Roach, where he was currently serving. He was known as a stickler for following rules and respecting rank. When Lieutenant William Holden was transferred to Fort Roach in early 1945, Captain Reagan kept him standing at attention for 25 minutes while he recited the regulations. Holden called him a son of a bitch behind his back, but the two actors soon became best friends. In the 1950s, they both were acting in Hollywood, and Ronald Reagan became the president of the Screen Actors Guild. You know, in Hollywood, if you don't sing or dance, you become an after-dinner speaker. (laughs) And look where I wound up. The year was 1947. Robert Montgomery was serving as president of the Screen Actors Guild, but he stepped down, setting a conflict of interest. In a secret vote by board members, Ronald Reagan was selected to serve out Montgomery's term, and William Holden was made second vice president. During one long meeting for the Motion Picture Industry Council, a meeting Ronald Reagan later called a long and boring session, Ronald Reagan passed his friend Bill Holden a note, which read, To hell with this. How would you like to be the best man when I marry Nancy? It's about time, Holden blurted out, and the two of them walked out of the meeting. Ronald Reagan and Nancy Davis were married on March 4, 1952, in a private ceremony at the Little Brown Church in the Valley. Bill Holden was Ronald Reagan's best man, and his wife Artis was Nancy's matron of honor. After the ceremony, they all returned to the Holden's home for dinner and wedding cake. Ronald and Nancy honeymooned at the Arizona Biltmore Hotel. On display at the Reagan Library from that day includes Nancy Reagan's wedding dress, or rather a gray skirt suit from I Magnum, and Mrs. Reagan's wedding ring. Ronald and Nancy Reagan preferred not to be part of the Hollywood scene after getting married, and would instead attend small dinners with friends like the Holdens. When Ronald Reagan ran for governor of California in the mid-1960s, Bill Holden was one of his supporters on the campaign trail. Unfortunately, not even one year into Ronald Reagan's time as our nation's president, Bill Holden passed away. He was only 63 at the time. Upon hearing of his good friend's death, President Reagan released a statement saying, I have a great feeling of grief. We were close friends for many years. What do you say about a longtime friend? A sense of personal loss? A fine man. Our friendship never waned. Thank you for watching. Don't forget that when you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll be notified every time new videos and podcasts are added to our site, including our Reagan and Friends, Words to Live By, and Reagan Forum podcasts. And don't forget to follow at Ronald Reagan on Facebook and Twitter, as well as at Reagan Foundation on Instagram and YouTube.